how to add variants in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you guys step by step how you can add different product variants in Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that you're going to do is you're gonna head on over into your Shopify store. Once you go into your Shopify store, click on product on the left side. Once you click on product on the left side, you can click on add product on the top right if you are adding your own products. If you're dropshipping, you can link your supplier to your Shopify store to import products. So you can click on add product over here. Once you click on add product, you're going to add the title of your product. So for us, let's say I have a tote bag. Now, once you insert the title of your product, you can add a description. Now, if you want to write an AI generated description, you don't have to open a new tab. Instead, just click on the sparkly star icon. Once you click on this, you can insert some features or keywords of your product. So this is a tote bag. It is heavy. Um, let's say it is stylish, trendy. It is made of leather or croc skin or croc leather. And let's say it is also large capacity like this. Now, once I insert these features or keywords, I can choose a tone that I want for my particular product. This might be a expert tone, a daring tone, playful, or whichever type of tone that you want. Then simply click on generate over here and they will generate a description for you. You can click on keep to insert this description. Once you've done that, you can click on upload media and you can upload your photos for your particular product. So I have some photos for my product that I'm going to upload. Now in products with different variations, like I have over here, you might want a certain variation to be the forefront image. It might be an image which includes all of the different product variations you have, or it might be an image which might have the best product variant. So if I want the green bag to be the forefront image, to do that, I can simply hover my cursor over that image once you hover your cursor over that image, on the top right, just hold the image. Then move it towards the front and it will be moved to the front. Now, once we've done that, we can go into pricing. Now I'm going to add a price and then a compare at price. The compare at price is usually a higher price that is set that makes it look like your product has been marked down. Below that, you also have your cost per item, which you can insert. Then you can choose to track the quantity but I'm going to add the quantities later because we're going to be adding different variants of our product. And you can also add the physical weight of the product. And below that, you have your final option, which is variants. So to add variants to your product, simply go into the bottom and click on add options. Now there are four variant types that you can insert. I will show you guys a different way to add variants at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned till the end to learn more about different types of variants as well as meta fields. But for most people, they either want to add different sizes, colors, or materials. So the first variant I'm going to add is color. And I have this, this particular bag in either 10 or green, and then click on done. Once you do that, you can click on add another option. And then let's say I want to add the material. And let's say for one, it's a leather. Let's say it is snake leather. And then let's say for the second bag, it is going to be croc leather like this. And then I can click on done. Now I have two different variants inserted. Now, after I have done that, within each individual color, I have two different variants of materials. So my inventory is going to be divided up if I had inserted a large inventory value. So I'm going to be adding 500 variants of each because I might have equal variants. Now, once I've completed this, I can go into the search engine listing to customize what my product is going to look like on Google. So if you want your product to rank high on Google, then click on edit over here. Sometimes the meta description can have sentences that don't make a lot of sense. So you can rephrase these and make these include more keywords. Then also make sure that your URL handle is not too long and has an appropriate structure. Sometimes when your URL slugs are too long, they can be a hindrance to your performance for the product. Then you can also change the page title to appeal more to the customers. So buy tote bags now 50% like this. 
So you can add these types of keywords or terms to better increase the performance of your item and its variance. Now, this is one really simple way to add variants into your Shopify store. If you still want to add different types of variants, which might not be the standard types of variants, let's say you're doing something creative and you have a really creative um, option field that you want to include. Let's say you offer something where the variants are going to be very diverse. So to be able to insert those, click on settings on the bottom left of your Shopify dashboard. Once you click on settings, you're going to scroll down and once you click on settings and scroll down, you're going to see in the left panel, you have this option called custom data. So click on custom data over here. Once you click on custom data, you're going to click on variants. Now in your variant meta field definitions, you're going to click on add definition. Then you can choose the type of definition this is going to be. So let's say within my handbags, I like to add something like a keychain or let's say it is going to be water bottle holder variant and one variant that does not have a water bottle holder. Then I can add a option. So if this is available in my online store and it has automated collection definitions, then you can also select types. So if it is going to be a particular type of product that is going to be inserted. Now you can add product and you can add a list of products within that, but I'm going to change this into single line text. And this is going to be limited to a preset number of choices. And this is going to be includes water bottle holder. Then the second variant or my second option is going to be does not include water bottle holder like this. So now I have inserted these two variants. And then once I do that, you can do either one value or two values. So I'm going to click on save over here. Once I have saved it, I am going to go back into my Shopify product. And once I open up the product over here, I'm going to scroll down. Once I scroll down, I can click on add variant and then I should be able to add a variant at the bottom. You will see it says water bottle holder, and then I can select an option. Either it includes the water bottle holder or it does not include the water bottle holder. You can click on add item over here and you will see does not include the water bottle holder. Then click on save over here to add this type of customized information about your product or the different types of variants that you have available for your Shopify products into your online store. So if I open up my store over here to take a look at what my purchases or what my products look like, you guys will see we have this little nice option of two different variants over here. And if I want, so this is just one product. If I go into my bestseller, I can further add more variations as I go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.